Use this money play down in the red zone to get easy touchdowns and frustrate your opponent. Coming up next. Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that shows you full games of all the tips and schemes that post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. So guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe button, also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. So this is one of the one of my most favorite plays uh, in the red zone. Um, I always have very success with it, and I went back into the lab to try to make it a little bit more deadly and more efficient in the red zone. And actually found um, a glitch uh, in uh, the coverage of, of uh, against your opponent where you can get uh, sideline cast uh, catches off the sideline. So this is out of the gun formation, the wing slot offset, double cross. You've got a mesh concept. And what makes this play so effective is that deep dig route or in route by the by the inside tight end. Now I make a couple adjustments on it, but you all, the way I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you a couple different ways to set this up uh, to use this as one is your red zone play. So when you get down to the red zone, how you can effectively get in. And this is really close. This is like 10 yards in, so it's it's first and goal type situation, second and goal type situation. So this is where you want to go when you're inside 10 yard line. Uh, this is the play you want to go to. Now you can find this not only in the Seahawks, you can find the Steelers, the Colts, the Jets, the Eagles the Redskins and the Raiders and you can you can find variations of this play in other playbooks too uh, so you want to go and take a look at the double cross now uh, from <clears throat> the defenses most people most good Madden players play a lot of zone defense down in the red zone forcing your opponent to, uh, forcing their opponent to actually make a read so we're gonna do random zones so random cover twos random cover threes uh, deep zones which would be cover fours just to go ahead and, and uh, show you how this is gonna work against random plays and also how my reads go now I'm going to go ahead and take this ball it, basically from, from the 10 yard line all, all the way up until the 2 yard line is where you're going to run it. I'm going to run it right here around the 6 yard line just kind of split the difference uh, between those, those yardage markers. And with this play basically what I like to do is I like to remove the auto motion. I don't want to show the auto motion. Um, I want to go ahead and, and essentially uh, run it like this if I'm going to run it stock. Now, what's cool about this particular play is that you've got an inside zone. So uh, you can always go ahead and try to run the ball against your opponent and get it in. Right there, I was able to get a touchdown. What I like of this play is the dig route or the in route by Sims because you have a mesh underneath it. And what's going to happen is he's going to get wide open in the back of the end zone. And it's going to be an area of the field that your opponent's going to have to cover. But one other adjustment I like to do with this is I basically like to go take the uh, tight end and put him on a flat route and take the running back and actually put him on a streak route, which is kind of an out and up. And then what I'll do is I'll just go and drop it down to the running back or this backside receiver for a little crosser. The goal is just to get a little bit closer to the red, or to the red zone against my opponent. Now, another adjustment I like to do is I like to go ahead and take uh, White and put him on a hitch route and take Robinson and actually put him on a, uh, a fade route. Or conversely, I'll take White and put him on a fade route and then Robinson on a curl route. Now, depending on the coverage, so it looks like like we've got a safety down in the box. This is probably some kind of a cover three. What I've discovered is that if it's a cover three shell, Robinson's route should get actually separation and get wide open uh, if it's cover three. So this is a cover three match. So that's going to be my read right there because the defenders actually carry. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take Robinson, put him on a, on a uh, fade route, uh, white on a curl route, and let's just watch the shell. And this is one of the things I discovered uh, against cover three. So I want to show this to you and how it's kind of glitchy against cover three. For some particular reason, this defender doesn't play, uh, he does not play the sidelines if he's in a cover three shell. He drops straight back, pulls out, and actually comes after this guy for some particular reason, leaving this fade route wide open. And it, it has to do with the fade too. The fade is, it, the, the combination of the fade and the curl route glitches out the defense the defender doesn't know what to do and if you do have a hard flat he's gonna come down he can actually play it but if you just wait a little bit you can actually hit the sideline so you can see right here I got a, a pretty cheesy touchdown probably a little bit better pass if I highballed it a little bit more now another setup I like to do with the Ziggler play is gonna be basically taking Robinson and actually putting him on a on a slant round I've got white um, on a um, fade route and what happens is now it actually kind of messes up uh, the, the coverages where you can actually highball the ball into the end zone. 
So if you want to go ahead and get this tight end out of the way, you could do that. But let's just go ahead and set this up. So this is basically your reads right here. And you'll see that on the back end side, he's going to be wide open on the back end side to get a completion. Now, if he's using um, cover two, what you'll see is that basically this curl route especially if you've got a tall receiver is going to come and get an opportunity for the ball. So you're going to, you're going to read the following uh, with the defensive backs. So really your first read is going to be this defensive back right here and see what he does. And if he slides to the sidelines, it means it's cover two. And um, basically this, this guy is going to be blanketed. So there's going to be two defenders are going to play it, but you can see this curl route gets inside position. And if you high ball the pass, you're going to get an easy, easy touchdown, especially if you have got a good, um, possession catching wide receiver, aggressive catching wide receiver. And also if you just go ahead and set, set up the fade, uh, the, the slant fade concept, a lot of times what's going to happen is that he's going to get open too against cover two. So uh, what's cool about this is that you have your ability to go ahead and tack your opponent off to, off to the right. You've got, uh, you can do underneath routes. You can obviously go ahead and jump into uh, basically just a nice little inside uh, inside zone just keep them honest a lot of times what I'll do is I will go ahead and run an inside zone just to make them think that I'm gonna pound the ball and then I'll just I'll a no huddle back into this play and then go ahead and tack them uh, with my read so guys this is uh, basically just a money play that I like to use down uh, in the goal line situation where uh, you're in a situation where uh, basically uh, you're inside that goal line and it gives you an opportunity to get some pretty easy touchdowns. So once again, to my subscribers, thank for support. If you do like these tips, make sure you smash that like button. And until next time.